Imagine being pressured by your family to bring a boyfriend home, but you don't have anyone. Not just that, but you have been given an ultimatum of bringing a boyfriend for your fast approaching birthday. How will this be achieved within such a short time frame? The pressure keeps getting worse, and the time is ticking by fast. In the opening scene, we see Callie in a baking shop, and she is staring at a time. Then her business partner and best friend Mia comes in and tells her that she's going to be late for her family dinner. Callie is indifferent about it as she said they've been having family dinner every Sunday. Mia accuses her of stalling, which she denies, and asks why she would be doing that. Although they usually raise her blood pressure, she loves her family regardless. Mia insists she leaves the baking to her, promising to handle the rest. She advises her to go before the traffic hits. Callie thanks her, and she also tells her about an adjustment to a customer's order. Mia continued with the cooking as they said their goodbyes. When Cal drives to her parents' house, she parks her car and does a 15-second breathing meditation, like she is calming her nerves. And when she is done, some of her family members call out to her from the window, saying they've been waiting for her. She takes a deep breath and goes in. She gives them the package, and her mom tells her that her dad misses her. She reminds her that they do this every week. They are reminiscing about an album that her dad holds, and they mention that her birthday is around the corner. She brushes it off as unimportant, but they say they like her to get attention from someone special. Her family wishes she had a boyfriend who would treat her in the special way she deserves, and advises her to get one. They suggest she keeps an open mind and tells her they invited someone over. This surprises her, and they all go in. As Callie walks into the living room, she is introduced to the family's dentist, Dr. Arthur, who tries to impress her by talking too much. She tries laughing at his jokes even though she isn't vibing with the doctor. Her baby brother Kyle came to her rescue. Soon it is time for dinner, and they all go into the dining room. Kelly's dad reminds her of the first time she tried baking that turned out awful they laughed at it, and Kelly says that was what inspired her to start her catering business. Arthur says he wasn't a big eater, and Kelly says she wanted more. Lyle asks Arthur a question about the different types of toothbrushes, and this allows Arthur to talk more about his business. He dwells on his business, talking on and on, which eventually bores everyone at the dinner table. Callie and her mom wash the dishes, and she tells her not to dismiss Arthur outrightly without giving him a chance. Callie reminds her of a similar situation with an internist. Callie tells her mom that she doesn't need a man to be happy, she is too focused on her catering business. Her mom tells her to find a balance and not stay cooked up in the kitchen. Her dad walks in and tells his wife not to push her because he doesn't think Arthur is the right guy for her with the way he behaves. Then he goes long to tell her he has a prospective boyfriend for her. Her sister also walks in and tells her the same, and she gets disappointed in all of them. At that moment her dad tells her that they are throwing her a birthday party, and she is to bring a date for the occasion. She says that is her cue to leave and says her goodbyes that it has been a successful dinner. As she leaves, Arthur walks in, asking if she has gone to get desserts and telling her he doesn't like sugary stuff. Callie's parents just laugh it off as a silly statement. Callie walks along the road with her brother and tells him she has been trying to get a boyfriend, but it's just not working out. Also, she likes being single. Her brother says he does too, but she says that's not true, since he's had many different boyfriends. He says he's different because he tries to find love, and when he doesn't get what he wants, he moves on. When they get to the bar, Kyle says his friends are also inside. Callie thinks it is just them, so she says she would go back. But Kyle insists that she says hi to his friends. He insists, and she agrees. As they get in, he introduces her in a funny way to his friends. The only male there strikes up a conversation with Callie as she sits beside him. Kyle sits opposite and between two ladies. He introduces himself as Will. Callie asks which of the women is his girlfriend, and he says none that they are teachers from the schools he teaches. He is an English teacher and an amateur novelist, according to him. Amateur because he has not finished writing his novel for long. Will says he met Kyle in college while playing baseball. Callie then brags about being a professional baseball player herself. She calls Kyle to attest to that, and he does. Then Kyle says he was just telling the ladies about how the family is trying to get Callie married off. Callie tells them she loves being single, and to her surprise, Will says the same goes for him. They share the same opinion of not wanting to get married unless they find the right person. Kyle asks her about how she intends to handle her birthday plans, and Will raises her glass to the single life. In their bakery, Callie and Mia prepare for the cooking they will carry out for Delaney. Callie talks about how a shout-out from Delaney, the biggest lifestyle blogger in the country, will be the boost they need for their business. She tells Mia that this will give them some much-needed visibility across the country. Just then, her mom calls her and requests that she sends her birthday guest list across. She tells her that Arthur was disappointed she left earlier the night before, but Callie's brushes it off. She says she will do that after she is done with baking for an engagement party. Her mom uses that as an opportunity to say she can't wait to host one for her. Her phone rings again, and this time, it's her dad. He says maybe it's time she meets his new hire, Frankie. She tells him she will call him back. 
She gets a message from her sister too, and she asks who she is bringing to the party. She even suggested that she ask her husband Ryan, if any of his patients are single dads. As she sighs, what she brings out of the oven falls, and the dish shatters. Her friend asks if she needs to take a break because that's the second dish she has dropped in two days. She goes to meet with her brother, Kyle. She starts complaining about her parents' persistence and not finding the right one. Kyle starts to list all the boyfriends she has had, and she says they were not the right ones. He asks why she can't go to her birthday party alone, and she says she needs to keep her parents at bay. Then an idea struck her, she has to bring a fake date. Someone who doesn't want to date and would pretend to be her boyfriend so her parents can leave her alone. The sage says someone like Will. Next, she meets Will at a restaurant. She had called him over. She explains her situation to him and asks him to be her fake boyfriend. He is surprised, and she explains that this won't affect him in any way, since they both want to be single, after all. She says she will pay him for dinner and food from her shop while he plays his part. She tells him that this is only for the duration of the party. After that, she'll come up with an excuse about why it didn't work out. Will stands up and asks if he can have a fake name, a fake accent, or a fake John, and she says no to all the questions and that she prefers him the way he is. He asks why she feels it is necessary to go to such great lengths, and she says she loves her family so much, and if this will make them happy, so be it. He agrees to the setup. Callie tells her brother that Will has agreed to be her fake boyfriend, and everything is all set. She makes him promise not to tell their parents about the plan. When he asks what is next, she says they will go out a few times so they can get to know each other. Her brother gets surprised that she has beaten the system. Then they parted ways. Callie and Will meet at the park. He holds a pack, and she tells him not to bring gifts for her since this is only a pretend date. He says it is not for her, instead, he needs her opinion since she is a chef. She advises him on what he needed, and he thanks her. They eat the donuts he brought and discuss his novel and his writer's block. Will tells her his movie is based on his life, so he doesn't know how to end it because he is the main act, and he wouldn't know how his story ends. They get along, and he takes her through the woods to his favorite place even though it is a pretend date. He sets a spot up for them, and Kelly tells him it's hard to imagine he is single. Then he tells her that all he cares about at the moment is being the perfect pretend boyfriend for her. They eat the snacks he brought along, and she asks if his mum partners him about being in a relationship like hers, and he says she does. They get along really well, and she enjoys his company. As they end the date and are walking out, she asks him if he would like to come over to her parents' place on Sunday, so she can introduce him to them. He says that's fine, but he has a date and will come after. She gets shocked that he has a date but didn't say anything. He says he can come after to meet up with dessert, and she says that's fine. They parted ways to meet the next day at her parents. The next day at Callie's parents' house, everyone is gathered as usual. But Callie is in the bathroom listening to her motivational audio to calm her nerves. Back at the dining table, her dad breaks the news that Frankie won't be able to make dinner because he is injured while training. Her sister also tells her of a great guy that will be a perfect match for her, but she says she is not interested and breaks the news that she has a guy she is dating. They are shocked, and she says she wanted to wait till she was quite certain before telling them. When asked where she met her boyfriend, Kyle says it was through him. She says he is an old college friend of Kyle and tells them about him. They are all impressed to hear this. She says she is all set for her birthday party, and they all cheer for her. She tells them she invited him to dessert, and they are pleased to hear that. He walks in on them as they eat dessert and exchange pleasantries. They are all happy to meet him. It got awkward at one point, but everything went well. Kelly walks in to meet Mia cooking, and she gets worried about preparing the right pasts, that Delaney, the lifestyle blogger likes. Mia tells her not to worry about that and asks about her date. She says he was funny, sweet, and blended in perfectly. Mia was happy to hear that. Kelly asks her if what she is doing is wrong, but Mia says it is not that she is doing it for a cause. As she throws the spaghetti to check if it's perfectly done, it hits Kyle as he walks in. Mia says he is cute as she blushes. Kyle and will play baseball as they talk. Kyle asks him how it went, and Will says he is the best judge of that since he was there. Will compliments his family and says Callie was convincing, and he almost believed they were dating. We see Callie and her mom planting in the garden. Her mom brings up the issue of her boyfriend and tells her she didn't know if she wanted to get married to him from the beginning. That it's all about trusting herself and following her intuition. One evening, Callie is cooking the meal that she had promised Will, and she didn't know he just walked in. As she swings around she spills the food in shock. She thinks he is a burglar. He tells her he came for the dish as promised, and she says it was to be by eight. Then Will says he made a mistake with the timing, and now, the dish is spilled on the floor. She apologizes that it will take an hour before she makes another, but he says she shouldn't sweat it because he just ate before coming. He looks around and asks her to teach him to cook the favorite thing she makes. Then she proceeds to teach him souffle, which her dad taught her. As she explains the process of making the souffle, he stares at her deeply, seemingly enticed. She tells him to grab an apron, and they cook together as she corrects him. They laugh and have fun while at it. After cooking, they talk on the couch. When it is all over, and they are saying their goodbyes, Will wants to hug her, but she shakes his hand instead. 
When Mia walks in the next day, she observes the kitchen because it is messy. Then Kyle walks in and covers his face while he makes a joke asking if they are throwing pasta. He asks if she meets Callie, but she says no. Kylie tells her he is going on a date to which Mia replies another date in shock. He asks her what she means by another date. Then, he says the women he goes out with often never go on another date with him, and he doesn't know why. She subtly tells him that his approach to dating is the problem, but he doesn't understand. All the while she looks at him with affection in her eyes, and as he walks away, Mia says to herself that she can't believe he is oblivious. Meanwhile, Callie is on the phone with her mom as he asks him for a family function. She is about to say no, and her mom says she asked Will already, and he says he will be delighted to be there. She was surprised and accepted. Callie meets Will on the way, and she apologizes for the unexpected invite, and he says it's fine. When they meet with her parents she tells him about their tradition of trying to ring a bell in the garden as a kid, and their dad does carry them. Even now, she is unable to ring the bell and asks if her dad could carry her, but her mother says her dad is aged and it is now her boyfriend's job to do that. Will immediately offered to carry her up. He lifts her on his shoulder, and she rings the bell. Her mom then gives her a padlock to finish the tradition of locking it in on the gate as a couple while she takes a picture of them. Afterward, all of them take a picture together. Then her mom suggests they take one where they kiss. She wants to object but eventually gives in, and her mom snaps them. Back at their cooking shop, Callie walks in, and Mia asks how her date with Will and her family went. She tells her that they kissed, and it wasn't planned, but she felt something during the kiss. Mia asks if Will feels it too, but she says she doesn't know if he did. She asks if Callie is developing feelings for him, and she says it seems so but she is unsure as this is a dangerous game. As Callie drives to her parents' home to drop some plates off for her birthday party, she tries texting Will that they need to talk, but she deletes it. She surprisingly meets her father at home. He suspects something is wrong and asks her. She says she is worried about the birthday, and he advises her not to worry and that she will be fine. He tells her not to be afraid of doing things her way in life. Kelly walks into Will's school, and as she bends over to read the novel displayed on Will's laptop, he enters the room. This startles her, and she says she wasn't expecting him to come in. She brings him the dish she spilled the other night, and he tells her she shouldn't have stressed herself for that. Will asks if she read his novel, but she denies seeing anything. He says she inspired him to get back to writing. She says Mia and her catering for an event Delaney is hosting and was about to ask if he will come with them when he interjects that he knows her. She invites him to the audition and says it's not part of his boyfriend's duties. He says he will check his schedule and get back to her. She awkwardly mentions the incident of them kissing and apologizes. He says it is okay and it won't happen again. Kyle and Will meet again. Will says Callie is a great person, and Kyle tells him he likes her for real. He says it's a lot of fun hanging out with her, but once the pretend dating is over, he will have to walk away. Kyle tells him to ask her out after it's all over, and he says it will be difficult because she made her intentions clear from the get-go. She doesn't want a relationship, and he doesn't want to ruin everything for her. He says he will have to get back to dating after it's all over to take his mind off her. Will later texts Callie that he won't be able to make Delaney's event, and that he is sorry. At the event, Callie meets with Delaney and introduces herself. Delaney appreciates the effort and catering for the event she has heard about from her friends. Delaney asks about her partner Mia, and she says she is running an errand. Callie calls Mia and drops a voicemail for her, asking where she is and also telling her about feeling confused with Will, but Mia walks in that instant. Callie tells her she just left a very long voicemail for her and she can delete it. Mia walks away to their table, and as Callie looks ahead, she sees Will sitting at a table with a lady. She is shocked because he had cancelled on her. Meanwhile, at Will's table, the lady he is with says she is surprised he interjected her over, and he says he is surprised she accepted. He suggests they should order his favorite dish, but she rejects that, and Will feels bad about it. Mia and Callie congratulate themselves on a great job done. Delaney also compliments their efforts and tells them they will talk later as he walks out. They get so excited and anticipate goodness from her. Later that night Callie plays baseball alone, and a moment later, Will walks in saying he guesses she isn't the only one who visits the court that late. She asks what he is doing there, and he says he didn't expect to meet anyone there. Will apologizes for not coming to her event, and she says it's all good as she looks away. He asks if he can host a few, and she says it is fine, although she thinks he has other commitments. Will asks about the party to be held tomorrow, and Callie says it has not been as easy as he thought, because her life didn't get easier than expected. Instead, she has to deal with some emotions. Will asks what emotions, and she says stress, anxiety, disappointment, and the like. Will says it has been easy putting up with her family and pretending. Callie gets confused. She thinks that he had agreed to play along, and she is the major focus of attraction. Will says that's right, but he has to deal with his emotions. Callie asks him what he was doing, going on a date that night instead. Will gets shocked, and she tells him that the restaurant he brought his date to is where she held her event. Will said it was just dinner, and he did it to protect her feelings. She says what the point of doing when they are not dating. Will says she doesn't know him then, and Callie agrees to that since they are just pretending. Will tells her he will leave, and she apologizes. She hesitates to say something and instead tells him she will see him at the party, and they will get it over with. 
The day of the birthday party eventually came, and preparation is in full swing. Kelly arrives and plays her motivational audio on the card, but she stops halfway through and gets out of her car. As she approached the house, her family came to hug her and wish her a happy birthday. Her dad gives her a present, and she proceeds to put it in her car. As she walks back towards the house, she sees Kyle and Mia hugging. At the party, everyone is dancing, and Kelly asks her mom if she had seen Will. She says she has, and she even scheduled a song for them. The song comes on, and Will joins her on the dance floor. Kelly apologizes for the other night, and Will says it's fine. He says they are both at fault, and she shouldn't apologize. But Kelly says she never should have put him in the situation, and Will says no matter how it turns out, he will take full responsibility. Will then tells her if they had met under different circumstances, he would have asked her out, and she smiles. He also says although both sides preferred being single at first, it's different for him now. As their dance ends, Will says he wants to take a walk, and Callie's sister drags her in for a group dance. At nighttime, the party is about to end, and Callie's father gives a speech and says he is proud of her and he is happy that Callie, and Will are two honey people who fell in love without a charade or set up. He tells Callie to come and give a speech. She thanks everyone and appreciates her family. She appreciates Will for always being there for her, but as she is speaking, she reveals that Will is not her boyfriend. She explains that they had an arrangement because of the pressure from her family, even though she knows they mean well. Everyone gets shocked at this revelation. She apologizes for lying to her family, speaking about her appreciation for her parents' special love. She apologizes that even though Will is not there, she is sorry for putting him through this situation. He is a great guy and will be the perfect person for his partner if he eventually decides to give love a chance. She says that pretending to be his girlfriend made her realize that what she really wants is to be his girlfriend. She walks out as Will appears from behind. Kyle meets her in the garden and says it is a great speech. She tells him to stop joking. He asks how she feels, and she says she's relieved. She asks when he is going to tell her about Mia and him. He says she is the first woman that did it for him. Then she says she didn't appreciate that their date almost made her miss the event with Delaney. He seems shocked, then says he isn't the side project and that it is other stuff. Callie gets confused and asks what it is. Kyle tells her to come and see it inside. As they walk in, she sees a table that portrays a history of Callie's favorite foods. Mia then walks in with a birthday cake for Callie. Kyle walks out, and Mia hugs her. Her parents came in to apologize for pressuring her even though they just want her happiness. They promise her not to be overbearing again. Callie's phone rings, and it is Delaney. They are her number one pick, and she even has better offers for them. They hug and celebrate the achievement. Later on, Callie's sister also apologizes for pushing her as well. She tells her that Will just left. Callie gets disappointed to hear that. As she sits on the swing with Mia, Will comes in with a flower he went to bring from his car as her birthday present. Apparently, he never left. Mia excused them. Will tells her that he fell in love with her on their first date and even brings identical seahorses for them and gives her one. She laughs and tells him she loves him as well. They proceed to kiss only to hear it as cake time. Mia brings that cake outside as Callie and Will stand by the table. The people are singing the birthday song, and Will tells her he knows how the story he is writing ends, and hugs her. Callie blows out the birthday candle, and they kiss as everyone looks at them in admiration. 